Okay, so I thought I'd start with a quick tip on how to communicate with a Bofang radio. Uh, I've had need in the past to um, program one of these, didn't have the cable with me. Um, so what do you do? So the easiest thing to do is to use a USB to UART adapter, a few short lengths of cable, two plugs, put them all together and you can communicate with it. Let's see how it's done. Okay, so here's the Bofang radio. The port we're interested in are these two on the side. These are used for the microphone and the headphone. However, they can also be used for programming. So, you take your USB to UART adapter. These can be purchased online, on eBay, Amazon, etc. Um, usually five or six for 10, 12 pounds, something like that. A length of cable. In this case, there's three, three cores, and we have two plugs. We have a two and a half mil stereo jack plug, and a three and a half mil stereo jack plug. So, three and a half mil plug has one connection, that is to the ground. It's the outer connector. The two and a half mil connector, which in this case is the green and the white. The green goes to the ground connector again on the outside, and the white connector, the white cable, goes to the inner connector. So we have ground, we have one and two, so it goes to the middle one, number one. On the other end, on the USB. The white cable in this case is connected to the RX channel and the red cable is connected to the TX and green is connected to ground. And that is all you need to do. So for this example I'm going to use Chirp, go into radio, download from radio, select the port that your USB device is working on. In this case, it's USB 0. Select the vendor, which in this case, again, Baofang. Select the model, mine's the UV5R. Click OK. Then tells you the connection process. Uh, the USB is already connected, the ports are connected. All I'm going to do now is turn on the radio and click OK. It then reads the contents of the radio, stores them locally, which then allows you to make changes, and you can then push those changes back onto the radio. So, as you can see here, I programmed this radio uh, a while ago with the marine band frequencies. That's it.